Welcome to this tutorial. Okay, so we are almost done with part one data preprocessing. I can't wait to start making the machine learning models. We just need three more tutorials to make our data set perfectly prepared before starting the models, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the fact that we need to split the data set into a training set and a test set, and I'll explain why we need to do that right now. So let's go to Google Sheets. Well, I'm on Google Sheets, but you can be on Excel, you can be on whatever uh, tool you want. But here is the data set open with Google Sheets. So we have our 10 observations, and this is the data set. This is the whole data set. And what we should do in any machine learning model is that we're going to split this data set into two separate sets, which are going to be the training set and the test set. Now, why do we need to do this? Well, when you take a step back and focus on the name machine learning itself, you understand that this is about a machine that is going to learn something. Well, here, it's your algorithm, it's your model that is going to learn from your data to make predictions or other machine learning goals. And so your machine learning model is going to learn to do something on your data set by understanding some correlations that there is in your data set. And imagine your machine learning model is learning too much on the data set, like it's learning too much the correlations. Then I'm not sure its performance would be great on a new set with slightly different correlations. You know, it's like a student who is learning by heart his lesson, and then when he takes the exam, he might be in trouble because he learned too much his lesson by heart, and he does not manage to make the connection between what he learned and the exam. And it's the same for machine learning. We are going to build our machine learning models on a data set, but then we have to test it on a new set, which is going to be slightly different from the data set on which we build the machine learning model. So we have to make two different sets, a training set on which we build the machine learning model and a test set on which we test the performance of this machine learning model. And the performance on the test set shouldn't be that different from the performance on the training set, because this would mean that the machine learning models understood well the correlations and didn't learn them by heart so that he can adapt to new sets and new situations. Okay, so that's the idea about splitting the data set into a training set and a test set. And now let's do it on R. So here we are on R. The section is ready, splitting the data set into the training set and test set. And let's start coding the thing. Now that you understand well the difference between a training set and a test set, we're going to do it a little faster. So new thing here, we have to import a library. We're going to import the library that is going to make a good split of the data set into the training set and the test set. And this library is called CA Tools. So let's import it. Here I'm going to the Packages tab to see the list of the libraries. Here you can see that the CA Tools library is here. I have it installed on the packages because I installed it before, but it's probably not the case for you if you're starting R for the first time. So we're going to install it. To install a library in R, it's very simple. You have to type install.packages and then in parentheses quote, and then the name of the library in quote. So here we type CA tools, and we're ready to go. So then you have to select this line and press a command or control plus enter to execute. Here it is. And right now it's installing the package CA tools. Okay, perfect. So then you have to put it as a comment because you won't need to install it again. But then, as you can see, we just installed the CA tools library, but it's not activated yet. You know, it's not selected and we have to select it. So to select a library, you have two choice. Either you click on the box here, as you can see, this generates the scripts here. Or, you know, if you have some scripts that you want to automate and execute once in a time, well, you can specify in your script that you want to include the library. And to do this, you just need to type library parenthesis, and CA tools, the name of your library, not in quotes, actually, this time, library CA tools. Okay, perfect. And now you're ready to go. We can check CA, CA tools is not selected right now. And if I select this and press command and control to execute, now it is now it's selected. Okay, so now we imported the CA tools library that is going to make a good split of the data set into the training set and the test set. So now let's make the split. So remember in Python, if, for those of you who followed the Python tutorial, we used random state equals zero so that we get the same results. 
Well, here it's going to be the same. We're going to set a seed to have the same results. Only we're going to do it now. We're not going to wait to be in the function in the library that makes the split. So to do it, we have to set the same seed. And so we can type set dot seed and in parenthesis, we can choose any number we want. It can be this number, you know, it, uh, that's a seed. If we both choose this number, we'll have the same result. But let's choose a more simple number. Let's choose, for example, one, two, three. And now let's make the split. It's not as simple as in Python where we make it in one line. Here we're going to have to prepare the method that we are going to call split. That is the method that is going to make the split of your data set into the training set and the test set. So equals and then sample dot split. Okay. Now if you want, we can press F1 to see what we have to input. Okay. So let's see sample dot split, split data into test and train set. Let's see the arguments. The first argument is Y. So that's not the same argument that we had to put for Python. In Python, we had to put both the matrix of features X and the dependent variable vector Y. Here we only have to put Y. Only we're going to take Y the following way. We're going to type dataset dollar sign purchased because your dependent variable is purchased. Okay, so that's okay for the first parameter. And then what is the second parameter? It's split ratio. Okay, so split ratio. Let's write split ratio here. And so split ratio is just a percentage of the observations that you want to put in your training set. So let's be careful. In Python, we put the percentage for the test set. And here we have to put it for the training set. So remember, in, in Python, we chose 20% for the test set. So here, logically, for the training set, we will choose 0.8. Okay, so what will this split return? So it will return true or false for each of your observations. That means that each observation will have either true or false. And it's going to be true if this observation was chosen to go to the training set and false if the observation was chosen to go to the test set. So let's have a look. Let's select this. Come on, control plus enter to execute. And here it is. We have the split here. So now let's go to the console and write split. All right, enter. All right, you see that you have 10 values. And so true means that the observation goes to the training set and false means that the observation goes to the test set. Okay, so now what we have to do is to create the training set and the test set separately. So we're going to do this. We'll type training set, which is going to be the name of our training set. Actually, let's make it simple. So training set equals subset parenthesis. And here is the first argument. We put data set because it's a, the training set is a subset of the data set. And here we will specify that we want the split equals equals true. And that's it. Okay, so that's it for the training set. Now let's copy this line. Paste it here. And here we're going to change training set to test set. And of course, we're going to change split equals equals true to false, because the test set are the observations for which the split equals false. And now we're ready. We are ready to make the split of the data set into the training set and the test set. So let's execute these lines. Command and control plus enter to execute. And here we go. Test set and training set are created. Let's look at them. So let's click on the training set here and the test set. Let's move that here and that here. Okay. Let's look at the training set first. Okay. We see that we have eight observations. Okay. Good. And now let's look at the test set. Now we can clearly see that we have two observations with six and nine. Perfect. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. You now know how to split your data set into a training set and a test set. This is a must do in any machine learning models. You have to test the performance of your machine learning model into a separate test set. So congratulations. Now you are almost ready to begin the journey of making exciting machine learning models. We just have one thing to do left feature scaling. You'll understand in the next tutorial why it's so important to do this. So I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, enjoy machine learning.